This video is sponsored by Kai Key. 10 more things you never noticed in Thomas and Friends. Now, I did a video about 10 things you never noticed in Thomas the Tank Engine several months ago. However, I decided it was time to treat you guys to a part two with a video covering 10 more things you never noticed in celebration of hitting 3000 subscribers. So grab a drink, make yourself comfortable, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10, the BR78 figures. It's well known within the community that the Gage 1 Markman BR78 was used as a source of parts for both Gordon and Henry's Perspex models for the television show. However, two 132 scale minifigures came as part of the Gage 1 Markman BR78 set, which fortunately enough, I own, so I've put them up on screen here. Hi, how are you? Now, you might be thinking, okay, so what do these figures have to do with the show? Since we all know that the small scale figures in the show were created from scratch and were identical in appearance and while that is true for the most part, these figures that came with the BR-78 were used in the show. They technically appeared in 1986's season 2 episode, Thomas and the Missing Christmas Tree. However, if you were to watch the episode, you wouldn't notice them at all. They can only be spotted in behind the scenes promotional images taken for books, where they're seen in the background on the platform. This is the only known and confirmed time that they appear on screen. However, if you have indeed spotted them elsewhere, please feel free to comment where you saw them down in the comments section down below. Number 9, the green double-decker bus. In the background in 1984 season 1 episode Thomas and the Guard, an unassuming green double-decker bus painted in two shades can be seen sitting in the background upon the hill next to the station. This bus was a Rosedale Toys Routemaster and it was seen again in Season 2 which showed another angle of the bus revealing a sign on the side of the bus which reads Chance and Hunt. Chance and Hunt was a real life company that originated in the mid 19th century in Oldbury, West Midlands in England. The company specifically handled and processed dangerous chemicals including sulphate, sulfuric acid, ammonia and more. Some other facts about this bus include that it was much closer to O-Gage rather than Gage 1, which is why it only ever appeared twice in the whole show and was only seen in the background. And another fact is that the front was actually modified as well, with its front having a new grille, indicator lights and fender extension. Nothing special or significant about this bus, but I thought it'd be fun to cover it considering that it advertises a real life company and its brief appearance in the show. Some people believe that the model was used for Bulgy, but we know this isn't true, as Bulgy was scratch built. However, it's entirely possible that it was purchased originally for the 1983 O-Gage test pilot, not to be confused with the Gage 1 test pilot that was filmed shortly after in the same year. However, this part about it being used for the pilots is mostly speculation on my end, so take what you will with a grain of salt. Speaking of pilots, number 8, City of Truro using Gordon's pilot wheels. City of Truro was an engine who first appeared in 1991 season 3 episode Gordon and the Famous Visitor. Although a minor character who briefly appeared in the show, it made sense for the crew to use parts that they already had to construct the model, which in turn led to Gordon's pilot model wheels being used for Truro's driving and tender wheels. Number 7, the Marklin engine became City of Truro. Okay, let me explain before I become a laughing stock. As I mentioned before, it made sense for the crew to use as many parts as possible that they already had on hand for the construction of City of Truro's Gage 1 prop. One of these reused parts was the smoke box door from the Marklin BR-80, which has been nicknamed the Marklin engine by the fandom, given its role in Season 1, which was to make scenes look busier by pulling and pushing rolling stock in and around the sets. Now, it's entirely possible that the smoke box door was sourced from another BR-80, not the same one specifically used in Season 1, as there are multiple characters who source their chassis from the BR-80. However, it is a fun little theory that I thought I'd share with you guys. Number 6, the Season 1 Troublesome Truck appearing, well, after Season 1. For the first series, a single troublesome truck had paper eyes and a paper mouth for faces much like Annie and Clarabelle, with no emotion presented other than an angry expression. Starting from the second series, the trucks were given grey faces as well as all other vehicle characters to give a greater variety of facial expressions. The first series truck would, however, make occasional cameo appearances during the second series. It can be spotted if you look close, but it's not too hard to spot overall, should you have a keen eye. Number 5, Cut Up Coaches. 
1991 Season 3 episode Buzz Buzz, one of the Red Express coaches used from Season 2, was cut up so they could be used for the newer and shorter Season 3 Red Express coaches to act as open doors on the coaches. Since the 10mm coach kits that they were built from did not have physically opening doors, the biggest giveaway to this is the fact that not only are the doors a much lighter shade than the rest of the coach, but the yellow pinstriping is not present as well. The remaining Season 2 Express coaches would be used for a short time after, getting their roofs repainted for 1995 Season 4 episode Paint Pots and Queens before they were either put into storage or just turned into scrap dressing. Number 4. Pencil in Thomas and the Magic Railroad Although this technically wasn't in an episode, I thought I'd still include this since I recently found out about it and, well, it's pretty funny. So in the scene where Diesel 10 says, Get out of my way! <laughs> A pencil can be seen on the side of the track when the scene cuts to a close-up shot of Diesel 10's face. Huh. Pretty funny that they didn't notice this. Ah well. Number 3. Butch gained a face halfway through Season 5. So Butch was first introduced in 1998 Season 5 as a regular repair truck, originally without a face, as seen here in Episode 2, Horrid Lorry of the Season. However, he gains a face in Episode 25, Rusty in the Boulder. I'm not too sure why they added a face later in the season, maybe they intended to early on, but forgot for some of the early episodes. Who knows? Number 2. Unused Spiteful Brake Van Face The Spiteful Brake Van was, well, a spiteful brake van introduced in Season 2 before he was murdered by Douglas. <laughs> Although appearing for only one episode, he would have at least two on-screen used faces, being his regular annoyed face along with his dead face. <laughs> However, he would have a third angry face made, but it would only for some reason appear on a quarry truck in Season 2's episode Percy's Predicament. Although I believe many people would have noticed the face itself, but I don't think many people would have noticed that it belonged to the Spike Ball Brake Van, and most probably just thought it was some sort of random one-off face. Now before we get to number one, I'd like to thank our sponsor for today's video, Kaiki. KaikiStore.com is the ultimate online store for Thomas and Friends fans and they've got a treasure trove of Thomas and Friends toys and products that are perfect for any collector. Not only are the products cheap and affordable, but the shipping is extremely fast and reasonably priced too. Would you rather pay $27.50 for this butch model on eBay or just $2 for the exact same thing if not in better condition from the Kaiki store which I'll even leave a link to in the description down below. You can even get them for cheaper still by using the code FISH when you check out which will take 10% from your order. They're cheap, reliable and one of the best third party resellers on the market and they've always got new products coming out each and every day. So next time you're thinking about making an impulse buy of your favourite character, rather than choosing something like eBay to make your purchase where you'll get ripped blind, you can make a nice and cheap purchase that is fair for all involved parties. Now, with the sponsor out of the way, let's continue with the video. Number 1. The Hench Tankers the hench tankers are a type of 10mm tankers that were incorrectly built with the axle boxes being much too far apart from the brake set. Although I believe the name hench doesn't really mean anything apart from being large and is just a nickname given to them by the fandom, at least two of these incorrectly built tankers exist which first appeared in season 2. They would be repainted several times for the duration of the model series and have been given the nicknames HD-1 and HD-2 respectively. HD-1 was painted in black for Season 2 and would remain that way for the rest of its existence in the classic seasons. However, in Season 3 it would gain the letters TAR or TAR in white on only one side of the tanker. HD-2 was painted in white for Season 2 and would remain that way for not only the classic seasons but it would also appear that way in Thomas and the Magic Railroad in 2000 as well. It's unclear how these two specific tankers ended up like this, considering the other tankers from Season 2 were built correctly. Who knows, maybe one of the modelers didn't have their coffee that morning. And God forbid if the Reverend ever found out, or Croft and Min wouldn't have heard the end of it. Well, that's 10 more things you never noticed in Thomas and Friends. Or maybe you did notice some. So if you did, let us know in the comment section down below if you'd noticed any of these. And before I end the video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Lou the Raccoon on Twitter, of which I was able to find several of these from his Twitter page. And if you want to learn more about the Hench Tankers as well, Tidmouth Thunderbolt has a great informative video about them, which I will leave a link to in the description down below. 
And until next time, thank you for watching.